Hey guys, we are here with part three of Five Steps to a Fabulous Canvas, inspired by Shannon Green's Journaling by Fives. And in this step, looking at my notes, <laughs> we are going to define our shapes some more and calm down our background. So in step three, you really want to isolate and bring out your focal images on your canvas. And that's what we're going to do today. So this whole thing is interesting, but it's really, really busy. So to make certain parts come out, we need to um, blank out or, um, or isolate them from the surrounding uh, background. So to do that, um, I am going to actually just use, I have a few colors of paint out. I think I'm going to just be using the white, but I have some other colors out just in case. Um, I have the Deco Arts Traditions in opaque white which is I think what we're going to use. I also have raw umber and then I have some other colors here but I think I'm going to save them and reserve them for step four. Um, I also have our paint writer that we created. Now it was suggested in one of my videos that you not use BB shot, that you use glass beads which is a good idea because she said that she thought the BBs could rust and change the color of the paint. Now while I have never had a problem with that um, that doesn't mean you shouldn't give the glass bead thing a try. If you have glass beads, just do, use those. You could probably buy an inexpensive set of glass beads, um, you know, just craft quality glass beads at the craft store too, and that might work. Um, so don't, be, don't go too far with your paint writer. So I'm going to just start with the white, because I think the white is really the color that I want to use. And I'm going to put some out here on my plate. Kind of a lot. move my palette out of the way and I've got my Americana Deco Art 2 inch flat brush and I'm going to turn the sound down on my computer or it's going to keep bleeping at me okay so now we want to just use the color that you pick or colors if you have a combination of um, and I'm getting the impulse to put out some of the raw umber. Let's not forget to set the timer. Just like the other two steps you have 15 minutes. <coughs> I'm still coughing from my Las Vegas trip. <coughs> All right. So I'm going to start my timer and I'm going to grab my paint. I'm going to start with the white and as I'm going, I'm going to be isolating the parts of the painting that I like and separating them from the parts that I don't necessarily like that much. You should have some baby wipes handy. I'm not worried about the fine details that I'm covering up, like that swirl that I just covered up, because I can always bring it back later. I'm going to blend my edges out a little bit with a baby wipe. And kind of spread the paint out and get rid of some of the brush marks. And also having the baby wipe handy lets you, you know, if you get paint on a part that you don't like, if you work in a small area at a time, then you can um, quickly wipe it off if you get it someplace where you don't want it. I want to save this leaf shape, so we're going to pull it out from the background. Don't worry about covering up something that you've already done. Like I said, have a baby wipe handy or, you know, if um, you make a mistake and you don't get in there quick enough, then just call it a happy accident and maybe something else is meant to be there. Don't 
Don't forget as you go to use some of your extra paint to paint your edges. Now this was a canvas that already had paint on it, so I'm not worried about the edges. You can also get in here and wipe back a little bit of the white paint and allow just a little hint of that background to show through. I like that. All right. Let's keep going. I see I got a little bit of the brown in there, but I kind of am liking it. that a lot. I'm just dipping kind of my tip of my brush into the brown paint. Now if as you're doing this you're worried about the paint drying too quickly then um, add a retarder to it. Deco Arts makes a, a retire, retarder or slow drying medium, which I ordered this morning. And you can mix it with your paint and it'll slow down the drying time. sitting down now I gotta stand up now I'm gonna get end up getting paint all over me otherwise not that that would be a first you know because it <laughs> happens all the time so I'm covering up all these little lines here but I think I'm gonna end up bringing them back but rather than paint around them it's easier to just cover them up for now and then bring them back that's our 10 minute warning Oops, I didn't want paint there. Okay, so let's get back in here with our baby wipe. Remember, you have 15 minutes, so you don't have tons of time to agonize over, you know, what you're going to do. I really want you to use this exercise as a way to loosen up and follow your instincts. Um, at the same time, you don't have so short of time that you should feel like you have to rush. Um, I think it's just enough time to do a decent job without rushing. I don't know why I bother to close the baby wipe up box up when I'm doing exercises like this. Now's the time when I can really, I've kind of painted around my shapes and I can decide which ones I really like and want to keep. I think I'm good with the ones that are on here. Yeah, I think so. You can use a light color or a dark color for this. I frequently use a mixture of colors, but I do keep it usually fairly neutral. Because for me, when I do this, it's all about 
those background colors that are popping through and it's not about this color that I'm putting on now. I like this DecaArt 2 inch flat brush. It's a really great brush for covering large areas quickly. Nice, smooth, even bristles. So now you see that those shapes, now that they're isolated from the background, they're really popping. And those bright colors inside those shapes are really showing up really well. Okay, so now I want to go really quickly before this dries and clean up some of this. There's something about baby wipes, and maybe they have a little bit of alcohol or something in them, that even if your paint starts to get a little bit dry, you can kind of still scrub it off. Okay, I like that. So now we're going to go in with our paint writer that we used before in step two. We're going to bring back some of those dark lines that we've lost. And don't be worried about not going over the exact same line. Those other lines will show through and they're just going to give your piece more interest and character. I'm going to turn it around so I don't stick my hand in something I don't want to stick my hand in. Now I'm just actually adding extra doodles that weren't on here before. I'm just listening to my instincts. Yeah, I like that. Very, very nice. Yep, I like that. So now I'm going to take, and we have four minutes left. And I'm going to take just straight onto the baby wipe with some of the raw umber. 
careful not to touch my lines I just put on because I don't want to mess them up too much. I just want to see what some of that looks like on there. I'm not so sure I like it. <laughs> How's that? So you just get in here with the baby wipe and scrub it back. That I like. And you can do that. See how some of the background right here shows through? I'm calling that a happy accident. So we're, we neutralize the background. That doesn't mean you can't make the neutralization paint. That's what we're going to call it because I don't know what else to call it. A little thin and transparent so you see some of the background through but it's just it's not the focal point anymore. You have a hint of it without seeing a ton of it. Yeah, I like that. I do think I want a little more white though. Let's see. So I do think it's a little too brown on this side. Oops. I like leaving some of these like fingertip brush marks in the paint. I think it gives it something interesting. One minute left. Better hurry up. Whoops. See? Okay. So that's where we're stopping, and that's, I know that's a mistake, I'm going to just, I have to, okay. So there's a mistake there, I did just clean it up a little bit after the timer went off, but you guys won't tell, will you? <laughs> but we're going to leave it, it's, got, it's supposed to be that way. Um, just let it go, it's a happy accident, I like the way this is turning out. We will be back for step three, and I'll show you what to do next to continue to make this a fabulous canvas. Don't forget that all of my copyright notices and disclaimer are now in the description below, along with my contact information. So if you have questions, comments, or concerns, or maybe a product you'd like to send me to review, you know how to get a hold of me. My P.O. Box and email address are in the description below. If uh, you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll be back in step three. See you later.